Hey, this is Philip from Steve's and Motor Co. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to do a valve adjustment on a classic Mini. So the factory manual recommends doing a valve adjustment every 12 months or 12,000 miles at very minimum. The reason you need to do this is because when the valves are moving up and down, they tend to heat up and that heat can bring the tolerances either too tight or too loose. If they're too tight, you have a chance you could burn a valve. If it's too loose, you're going to have a noisy engine. It's not going to have good emissions or good power. Before fixing any other things like carburation or ignition, you wanna make sure that the mechanical side of your engine is working perfectly, and that is part of the valve adjustment. So you'll need a flathead screwdriver, half inch wrench, possibly a socket, one and five sixteenths to turn the engine over. You'll need a set of feeler gauges, a 13 sixteenths socket to take the spark plugs out, a five eighths socket to take the valve cover off. So in order to adjust the valves, we have to get to the valves and that means taking off the valve cover. So that'll be the first step. Now we just need to find a way of rotating the engine. Easiest way to do that would be a socket on the end of the crankshaft over when the engine is in the car, sometimes it's difficult to get one in there. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. One, you can grab the fan blade and spin the fan blade by hand. That will rotate the engine. You can also put the car in gear and push the car. That will do it as well. Or thirdly, lift one side of the car up and spin the wheel while it's in gear. That will also rotate it. Problem is, is there's a lot of compression in the engine and especially if you're holding the fan, a lot of times when you're pulling on the fan, it can damage the fan. Easiest way to do it to remove the compression is to simply take the spark plugs out. By taking the spark plugs out, you're no longer fighting the compression and it becomes very easy just to simply spin the engine over. So now that we have the valves exposed and the engine ready to turn over, you can actually adjust the valves. Now what you're actually adjusting when you're adjusting the valves is the space in between the tip of the valve right here and the rocker arm. And you do that with a feeler gauge. In this case, it's a 12 thou feeler gauge. And you will place it in between the rocker arm here and the valve. And you're looking for just a little bit of resistance. Now I can tell that this one is too loose, so I'm able to slide that very easily in and out. To show you, when you tighten this, it makes this gap tighter and when you loosen it, it lifts off the valve, making it looser. Now you can't just adjust the valves in any order. There is a particular order and it's called the rule of nines. And what that means is that you rotate the engine clockwise looking from the fan side, as I'll do right now. And you're gonna watch for the valves and valve springs being compressed. In this case, it'll be this one and this one right here. And we're gonna rotate it until they're fully compressed just before they start coming back up, which is right about there. And then you count. So in the mini, there is eight valves, starting at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the rule of nine says, you take whatever valve number is being compressed and you use whatever number it takes to add to nine, that's the one you adjust. So in this case, because valve number eight is being compressed, eight plus one equals nine. So we'll go to valve number one and we'll adjust this valve here. You can also see that valve number one, two, three, four, five, six is being compressed. So we'll start back here, seven, eight, nine, meaning you also will adjust this one here. You go ahead and adjust both of these and then you continue to rotate the engine until the next set of valves compress. In this case, it's number four. So then you start back here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the one you adjust and so on and so forth. Now that we know that valve number eight is being compressed and we will be adjusting valve number one, we can go ahead and begin. So the first thing you wanna do is take the screwdriver, put it in there with the half inch wrench over top. This will allow you to crack the lock nut. And then you can take your feeler gauge 
and you're gonna to wanna to slip it in between the two surfaces right here. You'll then tighten up the screwdriver just until you feel a slight drag like that between the valve and the rocker arm. You don't want the adjustment too tight and you don't want it too loose. So once you're confident that you have a good distance, you can then hold the screwdriver in the same spot, making sure not to move it, and tighten up the lock nut. Go ahead and recheck, making sure you get a nice drag, and you're on to the next valve. So what I'll do is just rotate the engine until another valve starts being compressed. In this case, you can see it's this one here. So we're gonna continue to turn it until it's all the way compressed. And that's about right there. And then we'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the one we'll be adjusting. So then we've got valve number two here. We can crack the lock nut. And you'll notice I'm using a very big screwdriver. This just allows so that there's no play in the adjuster. Just makes it easier for adjusting things. Take your feeler gauge, tighten it up until you feel a light drag. That's about it right there. And without moving the screwdriver, nip up the lock nut. And recheck. That feels good. Next, crank the engine over again. This time we can see Valve number three is being compressed. Again, turn it until it's almost all the way there right at the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one. Same thing over again. Crack the lock nut. Turn it until you feel a light drag right there. Recheck and go to the next one. So from that point, it's pretty much is more of the same. You continue along rotating the engine, adjusting valves as you go until you've got them all done. I like to do them all through twice. That way you make sure that everything has stayed in spec and then you're ready to uh, bolt it back together. All right, so throw the valve cover back on, put the spark plugs back in and take it out for a drive. Hopefully we showed you it really isn't that difficult and you can be confident in your own abilities to adjust your valves on your classic mini.